Stepping back in time, Marcel Belfay has returned to the south side of Ottawa, to this tough, working-class neighborhood, to his youth. This is where you grew up. You left here in 1980. As you look around, memories that come back. Oh, a plethora of memories. Um, you know, some positive, some negative. There was a childhood friend who eventually died of a drug overdose and a homicide he witnessed at the age of 12. I can still remember that day, you know, coming down the street here in, in front of the house and, you know, the woman running out, my friend and I come back from the arcade and, and uh, he took her life with a shotgun. And, right uh, outside. Outside, yeah. They are painful reminders, reminders that could have influenced Marcel's character and his future. So many chances to go to the wrong side. You come out on the right side, why? I, I think one of the most important things was, you know, the Lord blessed me with great parents. Come ahead, Joe. Marcel's father, Al, began working full time as a teenager. 45 years later, he's still working, and so is Marcel's mother, Bonnie. They married in their teens, and had four children by the time Bonnie was 20. Our parents were supportive, at first they weren't, and uh, we said we love each other and we would make it work. We didn't have a chance to go to university. Uh, we went to high school, we worked hard, sometimes two jobs. When but our children got older, I'd always tell them, I'd say, okay, now I've given you a life. You're 16 now, but now you gotta be in charge of it. You gotta take responsibility for it. Because I can't be there as you're an adult. You are now responsible. We had discipline in the home uh, and love in the home, and uh, I think as long as you have those two things, you're gonna have a great opportunity in life. Gabriel yeah, is open in the end zone. Touchdown! After his hometown Rough Riders won the 1976 Grey Cup, 10-year-old Marcel decided he wanted to play pro football. I mean, I was the guy that would go down to the school on the weekends and get extra work in. We'd turn the lights on at Carleton University Field and we'd run routes at midnight. Belfay made the most of his potential. He played both university and semi-pro ball, but it wasn't enough to play in the CFL. The 26-year-old was devastated, but not enough to quit the game. I knew that uh, you know the Lord had blessed me in other areas, and, and uh, the coach might be one of them. The odds were against him. I didn't play the professional level. Um, I'm Canadian. Um, I, I don't come from the coaching lineage. Despite these odds, Marcel was inspired by the love and support of his family. And I said, Marcel. You have to follow your dream. You have to, in life, you have to do something you love. Marcel's faith and all that hard work paid off first at the university level, then as an assistant in the CFL, and finally as head coach of the Hamilton Ticats. You get married as teenagers. You have a young son. Soon you have four children. You make it all work, and now here you are seeing your eldest son live again. What does this mean to both of you? Pride. Happiness. Huh? Yeah. We're proud. Well, just to share it with them, um, because they've sacrificed their lives and their dreams and their ambitions at a young age to have a family. I've made sacrifices to get where I am, but I haven't made sacrifices to give up what I want. And when people do that for your benefit and for your well-being, your heart swells up. I could not have done it without them.